Awesome. Hello and welcome to this uh, not visually currently happening uh, episode of the Dyson and Guitarics crew. Uh, I am getting the frames all set up uh, as we speak, but <clears throat> it is seven and uh, the adventurers are in combat, mid combat. At least one to two rounds had occurred thus far. Uh, you have entered the sanctum of the vizier Laertes and bow, bow. Uh, upon his revelation that the well actually you don't necessarily know that somehow he figured out that Hazel was indeed a child of fate and took it upon himself to release two of his bodax dark twisted creatures of um, horrific manufacture uh, as well as attempting to unleash his own uh, magics, but has been thoroughly thwarted by the machinations of the assembled crew. So, uh, let's see here. I have an initiative order and uh, some HP and some, uh, some status effects. So, if you wish to recap yourselves on where you are, what you're doing, um, I believe there was a bit of a melee going on at the uh, at the like lectern in this guy's study, um, the Bodax were moving around. So yeah, who uh, who who remembers what was happening? Or perhaps someone has. I notes? had I had a moonbeam going. Now that I think about it, oh, I yeah. remember earlier I was uh, remembering our other game, where we were not paying attention on a raft and we got uh, surprise rounded. Yeah, but we are fighting at a lectern, and I have moonbeam going. Yep. Yeah. So there there's two. There's two of those things that I wanted, but then found out what they were and decided I didn't want. Yep. And they're just about to touch someone, if I'm not mistaken, or they just touched someone. And then there's the asshole at the lectern who I've been focusing on. And there is a moonbeam. On him. Um, yeah. Jin is hiding. And Rip, I think, was trying to steal something and failed. So he's kind of like behind the desk. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> He got, he got caught. Yeah, he got caught. Done got got. He got caught. He got caught. It's oh. a little bigger now, so. Who is this in this box? Okay. Oh, that was a crack. We forgot to use all my spells up before this fight. Yeah, I got it. So. I'm trying to get you not to, but you decide to be stubborn. We, just, we we technically took a short rest while um, you were sleeping. Yeah, but Hazel was repeatedly casting this guy's self on himself. Yeah, yeah. And I don't get spells back from short rest. So. Um, oh, fail. Yeah. I tried. Well, I can appreciate I it. To get you to yeah, it. hey, if, if, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. <laughs> Oh. Spoken like the lawyer himself. Oh, Tony, goodness. am I allowed to take a short rest right now? We took a short rest. Okay. I think we see us. Uh, well, since we're already in combat, if you hadn't taken that short rest already, then... Oh, no. I guess it's too bad. Um, oh. Cool. So if I recall correctly, we were going through... We were going through the initiative order. Um, yeah. So... Um, We've got His Eminence Laertes huddled behind the lectern with a, a, a crew of individuals around him, as well as the Bodax moving in. We have a couple of ranged people who aren't engaging directly. Um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, starting from the top uh, with the Sweet 24 initiative, um, Stormhalf's very own Pol Polythera Roslia. Bum, bum, bum. I imagine you wish to cast gun. Uh, I do. Remind me to stall on the field. Because I think we knocked a couple people down. Mm -mm. No, no uh, one. Yet. Not okay. yet. No. Okay, so. There, there are three assholes in the room. There's the vizier, and then there's the two oh, guys, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm still trying to kill the vizier. Because he's big five, my man. 
Which is funny because you think he's after your man, and I think he's after my lady, and nobody knows what's going on. Sometimes it's that he dies. Yeah. Let's <laughs> be real. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out to the van, and I'm gonna shoot the bear. And um, we're gonna assume that a twenty-seven hits him. Uh, Laertes. Yeah. Uh. Bar. Actually, oh god, a twenty-seven <laughs> doesn't hit him. Oh no. Um, a, a twenty-seven kind of would stuff. hit, but he's hunched and in melee, so he would impose. He would have, you would have disadvantage imposed upon you. Oh, Unless you have a cool gunslinger thing that lets you ignore that, or gives okay, you advantage. Almost disadvantage, and it's twenty-five. Okay and then. You have inspiration. Just a reminder. No. You've got a good good. inspiration. That is. Uh, at the end of last. She's season. she's a shooter. Shooter shoot, dog. Hell yeah. Roll very well. damage. Dog. So that's gonna be seven points of damage on my first attack. Came to do <laughs> calculus and blow holes in people's heads, and she don't know math oh, good. Four. Sorry. It's. <laughs> Plus four. Eleven. Eleven points of damage on my first hit. Well, keep rolling. Still at disadvantage? <laughs> yes. She hasn't oh. figured it out yet. Mm-hmm. I think after a couple shots, she's probably got it down now. Mm-hmm. Spoken like a true one. Okay, so that's twenty-two to hit. Mm-hmm. Twenty-two hits. Roll damage. Oh, yes, Doge time. <laughs> Yay, a ma. The largest <laughs> lapdog. You <laughs> just say, what am I saying? <laughs> oh, so that's 23 points of damage on my second head. Woo-hoo. How much? I rolled a 9 uh, and a 10, uh, and then you add 4. 23. And does 2 d10s plus 4. All oh, right. Indeed. Do one thing very well. I do, and I'm I'm gonna take my um second one. <laughs> oh, action surge, right? Action surge, that's what I'm looking oh, for. Oh yeah. I'm gonna use my action surge. Which lets me take an additional action. Yes. And for my additional action, I'm going to cast light on my gun. You're going to cast light on your gun? Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. 20 okay. foot radius of light emits from Polly. How close am I to Polly? She's so shiny. Uh, not. Uh, well, relatively. You're one move from Polly. You ran up into the melee, if I remember correctly, right? No, because I, I have a moonbeam going, so I had stayed back by the... I'm the one run people. up in the melee, because I'm... Yeah. The melee. I'm with... They're with Flash. Oh, okay. Yeah, I stayed in the back, because I had the moonbeam on them. Moonbeam can stay even if you move around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just... I, uh... Was just in the back. But also, you would drink it, so that's not bad. Because mm-hmm. the uh, range on it's 120 feet, so I have plenty of space. Uh, Polly, go ahead and make me an intimidate check. And my intimidation is not great, but. Oh, that's a dirty thing. What was that? Dirty 20? So dirty. Yeah, those are the best 20s. Okay. Uh, Yeah, you get a good old classic um, sort of vampire movie from the Bodax as your your gun 
flashes with light. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, you, two of your rounds report loudly as chunks of flesh get ripped away from uh, Vizier Laertes' skin. It's quite a show. Uh, it's loud and it smells bad and it's violent and there's blood everywhere. It's quite exciting. <laughs> uh, moving on through the initiative order. Rip Turum. Properly Rip Turum this time. Yes, Pro who is the actual monk. Yes, the artist so formerly we're... known as Jin, but actually Rip. <laughs> exactly. Rip is going to hop over the desk to attack whatever's on the other side of it uh, in a really cool... I would love him to be able to do some sort of, like, maybe, like, ooh, like a handless flip over the table or something like that. Put a cool spin on it, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, He's no. Athletic. I love opportunities to fail. Make me a... Uh, make me an acrobatics check, yeah. You bet. Rude. It's going to be a good old 18. All right. Yeah. yeah. You take just a few steps and you're like, <laughs> this air stuff is much easier to move through than water. So wah, wah, you do that sweet uh, flip up, no handed, rad, and you come, you land down uh, in next to the lectern where Laertes is kind of hunched down, blood splattered across the floor, uh, clush in melee, and I believe also... Hazel, were you mixing it up too? Yeah, Hazel's already. Yeah. Right. yeah. Was up there. So yeah, you join the fray. What what okay. flavor of ass whoop will you be opening up? So I officially now have two attacks per action. Oh no. Um. I am going to just start with some good old fisting. <laughs> In this, in this group setting with these friends around, yeah, that's a, a good place to start. Uh, on that note, Leaf, you're you're up next, so uh, start thinking about how you want to react to all this. We try on comfortable. HR is not in chat. What, no, what, it's fine. We're, we're, uh, we're not there yet, but go ahead and start percolating. No, but does it, doesn't he have to go before me or no? When is Laird's turn? Oh, Laird's is uh, Laird's is later. He he was a little bit slow on the draw, but. I'm, I'm I'm sticking with Sam. What's uh what's Yes, you're before you're before right. Laertes, yeah. Uh so yeah, give me them attack rolls. First one is gonna be a twenty three to hit. Dang. Yes. Roll damage. That's five damage. Second one is going to be a Oh my god, I'm so bad at uh, thirteen. That one does not hit. I'm really bad at adding to seven for some reason. My brain doesn't compute it very well. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Um, I like the dice. I'm bad at <laughs> adding all of them together out loud. So you're fine. Um, for my bonus action, don't you dare girl at me right now. Where is my... Stunning strike. Here we go. Oh yeah. Okay, so on my, ugh, I know I already did my second hit. Dear, please DM. Uh, can I use stunning strike for my first hit? <laughs> um. It's an other. It's not a bonus action. It's just a thing that happens when I hit it with a melee attack. You can, I can spend a key point. So I'm spending a key point. And if he makes a DC 14 con saving throw, then um, he's not stunned. <sighs> okay. I'm going to say no on this one. But okay. you still do have a bonus action, which if yeah. you want to get wild, you can burn a key for a flurry and then another key mm -hmm. to make one of them stunning. Okay. Are well, you, I'm going to blow a key for striking flurry. him. Yeah, like I mean, it does just him? as much damage as my Dana Hopper does. does. How does uh, Moonbeam in that case work? Because, like, are you technically... Like, he's inside. He's, uh, so, I imagine, as an excellent caster, you have angled it so that it isn't hitting the people around it. And then I imagine Rip is skilled enough to stay at the edge oh. of the Moonbeam, punching into it, not taking damage. I mean, yeah. 
I Maybe guess. Maybe my it's knuckles five, are a little a, seared. Five foot. When, when I but, want friendly okay. fire to happen, I'll find a way. Don't worry. <laughs> I just didn't know how that worked with unhanded combat. Because, like, I understand a sword and stuff not being physically you. But I didn't know how that worked. But so, no, thanks okay. for reminding me. I, I, I'm, I'm going to double check if it's end of turn or beginning of turn. Uh, it, it's the... That's why I was so confused. Because, Ooh. like, on... On the start of his turn, he would have taken damage, but had to move out of it. I thought it was not his turn. But that's yet. why I was like, "Did he go?" Because I was like, "Am I going twice before he went?" Because I cast it on him, and then on the start of his turn, I would have assumed like it should have hit him again, and I assume he would have moved, but he's still there. So that's why I'm like, "What? How did he not go before it's back to me again?" Because like I thought I was gonna have to move the moonbeam to wherever he ran to, but if he's still there, I'm like. How did he not move? He he has not had a chance to move. You're you're, you're good. You're dealing max damage. I think we, you oh. just got uh we got a round before yes to like cast a thing real One fast and then we entered initiative. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We we did have some combat yeah. okay. already last game. Right, and that was me casting this, but that's why I wasn't sure. Yeah, no, definitely so, some of these uh, things have taken damage, so yeah. Uh, when a creature enters the spell's area for the first time on a turn or starts the turn there. Uh, mm -hmm. So, rules is written, Jin is not entering the square. Or, sorry, Rip is not entering the square. So that's, so that's good. If they try to grapple him, then yeah. But, um, what I'm saying is, as it's written, he wouldn't take damage again till it's the start of his turn. Um, Only if I am ending my no, or starting I'm talking my turn about, I in that talking space. About me. Oh, Laertes? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 So when yeah, it yeah, comes, like, Laertes so won't take damage. He so probably, like I just have to not do anything. He probably he took moved. damage already. Yeah. And then yeah. So right now you don't need to move it because it's going to hit him again. But he won't. It won't. He won't take damage until the start of his turn, in it, because it says when a creature enters the spell yeah. for the first time on a turn. Or is that saying my turn as well? Or starts its turn? Because I at thought the, it was the first time. At the start of the creature's it. turn or when it first enters. So when you so cast it last game, it. he took damage right away. And then at yes. the start of his turn last game, he took damage at that time as well from it. And if he doesn't move out of the way before his turn comes, or if he... Blah, 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 blah. If it doesn't move... Then he will take damage again on his turn. Yes. So he wasn't smart no, he enough. He does automatically. Yes. Yeah. I. This is why this game is confusing. But also, don't let me distract Sam. You had a. You were doing a special thing, and I distracted from that. So I. Apologize. I love you too late. I got it. <laughs> uh, Sam, uh, I'm doing do flurry wish, of blows. You wish to take the devil's bargain, huzzah! Yes. Twice more. Another round. Two more shots. <laughs> Another. All right. So spend the key uh, for the flurry. What did I, do I did. I promise. Excellent. Uh, what do I add to this? Nineteen to hit. That does hit. Roll damage. That's gonna be another five damage, and I would like to spend a key point for stunning strike. There it is. Yes. All right. So I believe he does a save on that one. DC 14 for con. All right. So, just barely, yeah. Uh, yeah, you strike into that into that nerve center where you where you're pretty sure it's like, yeah, mammals close enough and then you you feel that like there's more muscle there than you anticipated and he sort of just kind of grunts with the hit uh it did not hit muscle it did not daddy. have okay. the effect all right well i still am punching him one more time you do indeed get to punch him one more time another 19. hell yeah that hits roll more damage max damage nine Woo. and i'm gonna try to do setting strike one more time <clears throat> Oh, you're gonna spin? Okay, sure. Oh, All right. You're like, you're like. Yeah. Because when I hate with a melee, I can spend a key point. Yes. 
Maybe Green Monkey Man's de center is high? Yes, you found it this time. He is now stunned. Now he can't move, Leaf. Until the end of your He's next turn. Of the so, yes. So, it absolutely. Until the end of my next turn, yeah. Yes. No one grapple him, no one push him. No, I just meant that, like, I, uh, I did, I don't have anything to do. I just, like, walk around. No, I know. I'm just joking. Like, uh,. uh Everyone know Tylee in Avatar The Last Airbender? She gets your chakra points. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. I heard chocolate points and now I want dessert. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I believe that's the end of my turn. Yes. Yeah. Uh, a fishy flash of furious fists uh, rain down on Laertes. <laughs> um, it looks like a very cool kung fu movie uh, where the hero is just abusing someone and they have no recourse to react it's if it wasn't so cathartic it'd be kind of embarrassing all right following is leaf this stunned individual is held uh horribly in your moonbeam what else do you wish to do yeah. find a safe place uh not too close to poly that i'm blinded but just far enough away Probably. Uh, the light spell she casts doesn't blind. It just makes it like, it's like when oh. you go into a room that's very well lit. Unless, hmm. yeah, unless you're a creature that has a light sensitivity, which you're not. Like me. Well, <laughs> I also don't want to get distracted by it. So. No, I don't well, think so I have like two things for fighting. I see a, I see a light and the cat and me wants to follow it. So. Yeah, uh, thankfully, she doesn't have a laser scope. So. I know. Uh, I'd be in trouble. <laughs> Gosh, don't say that. Because she'll get one and I'll start chasing it around. So, Polly, can you please, can you please, please help don't. Lee for a while and just... Okay. <laughs> I'll start going. Yeah. Um, cool. You know what, Leaf? Go ahead and make me a stealth check. Ooh. To try and, uh, try and uh, make yourself less of a... 26. Oh, oh, yeah. You managed to make yourself pretty small and sort of slink off next to one of the uh, next to one of the cabinets these things appeared to be hiding in and you're just sort of like, think thin, dark thoughts. And, uh, yeah. As far as Got you... Got 120 feet on the old beam. Yeah, as so. far as they're concerned, you don't exist. They're much more concerned with other things happening. Uh, which brings us around to Clash. Uh, Clash uses their rapier do, to go... Do you get advantage because he's stunned? Oh, yeah. Yay! Yeah, he's still he's using, in a bad way right now. Still using the stab stabs. Knock him down. Knock him I down have to... Clash. Yes. I mean, murder him. Oh, good God. That first roll was a two... <laughs> Thank, thank everything for the advantage. Oh, that's much better. Okay. Uh, 16 plus 7 that hits. is 3. Okay. I did the math in my brain. Yeah, no, 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 no. Sorry, yes. His AC yes, yes. is less than 20, or is less than 20. So if, 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 if we're above that, we know we're good. So he's frightened. Need... Oh, I am sorry, Sam. He should have had disadvantage on those on those checks. But it already remembered that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oops. All right, that's four plus six is ten, and I get to do a second action. Uh, I want to do. I wanna do Oh yeah, advantage. Oh, stunned is incapacitated plus damn Okay, I'm just gonna hit him again. Um, with my rapier. Hit him hard. Stabby stabby. Hit him where it hurts. Yes. Do I still have advantage? Oh yeah. He's not wake he's not that woke now. Uh everyone has advantage on him till the beginning of Rip's next turn. So. He is dumbfounded, and uh, he's probably not going to survive this round. <laughs> the way things have been going, that's what we like. But that's fine. Like. He's got two friends to keep you company. Uh, what was that? 19. 
19 hits, roll damage. Okay. His friends are not very nice, if I remember right. Yeah. No, they're not. Yeah. It's under bad news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 12. 12 uh, damage. Uh, oh, poop. I'm sorry. How much was the first one? 10. 10? Okay. 20, 22 total. Yeah. Um, yes, you guys, uh, those of you in melee, those of you who can see him uh, behind the lectern, most of you have got an angle on it. He's starting to resemble uncooked hamburger more so than an a distinguished vizier of the court at this point. Um, but it's the soul still burns. Uh, is that that's the that's the entirety of yours? Yes, Clush. Um, can can I use a superiority dice to do an action surge? Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> I believe you are legally allowed to do that. Yes. 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 Um, Don't even have to cheat for that one. Nope. Yeah, bust him out. All right, conditional to action on my turn. Let me mark that out. And uh, uh, the first roll was a nat 20. Oh, shit. <laughs> we like those. Yeah. Ooh. Well, I'm not rolling that one right now. <laughs> All right, does that mean I get to double the damage? Yes, so our crit rules are double the dice. Uh, so you can roll the dice twice if you wish, or just double the amount on them. No, I rolled the dice twice. Yeah. So More that's fun that 10, way. but I don't double add my Not the plus, yeah. Modifier. So that's 16. 1-6? Oh. Correct. All right, yeah. You're, you're like, there was a vital area here before it was carved up and tenderized and uh, and uh, exfoliated. Um... Nice. Let's see here. Where? I have like eight things open. <clears throat> you see a shudder come from the form, um, but there still seems to be some fight left in him. Uh, I have nothing left. <laughs> Hazel. I, um, well, um, Hazel's just going to be like, this escalated very quickly. And... I take a swing with his long sword at the overseer. It's all bad doing it, but he's trying to kill me. Well, so. don't feel bad. You know, you should feel bad about the advantage as well. So go for it. Oh yeah, advantage. Take yeah. Me. Because okay. Oh, get a shish kebab out of him, but he's still kicking. What did you roll? Double ones. One or two. At least he no. didn't fumble. You you Hazel, likes. take your hand away from your you eyes when you swing the sword. <laughs> uh, this is uh, two new d20s and uh, my second swing. Okay. It's good advice. By the way, you should take it. Pull the hand down. Eight plus six for a 14 hit. A 14 on an advantage roll? Oh, honey. She, she got found eight. out. No, yeah, you are you you're Hazel. You are too shook that this at this revelation and this sudden intense violence from your friends, your friend who's a girl person. It's it's a lot. You're go, you're going through a lot, man. Like you know, it's fine. You know, you you tried, and I think everyone here agrees that you tried. You're wearing Clush's hood. It's too far down. Like. Clutch is much bigger than you are. I'll take my bonus action. I just, uh, I just found Everyone out. just found out your dip is like a secret. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm so far away. You can do that as a free it. action, Hazel. Do you have a bonus action you'd like to do instead? I've used all my... Uh, I've used my... Fartic Inspiration. I don't I don't use the second one yet. I'm... I'm tapped. Oh, Corgi. Um, oh, you have an action surge. Did I take it last time? Oh, I just used mine. You should be able to use yours. I took it last time. I did take my action surge last time. Like, because I fell with it three times in a row. <laughs> I love how in the frame of the stream, uh, Nate's almost gone, but Leia is 
Leia's there, and that's... Oh, no, that's Leia's done. All right. Beeps. Inter Leia Lude. Excellent. Inter Ludely. In, in <laughs> Leia Terlude. Okay. I love how most everyone in the, of the order... Uh, so, me, Sam, and... Who are you? Nate. Nate. We've all had our animal in our lap at some point. Come on, guys. I'm trying to. Cats. I'm trying to avoid. Uh, they, to JC can have both. It's fine. Okay. Um, the boys are warm, but I'm gonna sit in my lap right now. <laughs> we did get cat. You you didn't see their cat was on earlier. So our friend who is cheating by playing two characters, Jin. <laughs> our our big new beefy boy. Uh, uh, it's their me. turn. Who me? Yeah. Well, yeah. Jin. Well. Come out of his hiding spot and take a sneak attack. Oh, snap! With his good old short bow. Yeah, he only gets one advantage though, because that's how that works. You don't get to, you don't get to roll four dice and take the best. So, but yes, uh, advantage on to hit and sneak attack dice because holy fuck. Uh, yes, let's see what the notorious uh, R.I.P. has, or sorry, J.I.N. has to say about this one. So it's a 19 to hit. That hits. Roll all so that ridiculous. D6. So the base level damage is 1d6 plus 3. That is 7. Okay. Now I'm going to add 3 additional d6 to it. Do so. 7 plus, seven plus 5, so 12. Plus another 3, 15. Plus another 2, 17 damage. Okay. Uh, I have something for this, but if you would like, Sam, uh, do you have an idea of how Jinturum would destroy the vizier of this caliphate? So he was trapped in the box, right? So I kind of want him to pop out from, like, some type of, like, storage treasure, like, container, like, chest. That's the word I'm looking for. And, like, just, like, have his bow. And, oh, I wish I could think of something fucking cool to say. <laughs> so, What's your idea? You go. Let's go with your No, idea. absolutely. So as part of his sneak, <laughs> he also posted up inside one of the cabinets the Bodak had come out of. And then leaning out from that same box, he locks eyes with the vizier. The vizier sees him. And within the vision of the vizier, Laertes the box that the stone was in is on the lectern looking over making eye contact and he hears in amidst the melee Jin says I'm the man in the box <laughs> and he looses the bolt and it sticks <laughs> straight between what's left of his eyes <sighs> as his body crumples to the ground dead dead oh my god I'm the man in the box. In the <laughs> moment after that, I, elation I rushing through your brains me. because you've defeated this uh, foul individual. Your reverie is broken much. by the moan, the wails of the Bodax. So I thought Jin was going to say something along the lines of, let me get my point across. And then like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I went That'd for the 90s great. rock reference. I'm sorry. Actual. You can't complain about my bad puns. I know. Uh, also, if anyone's familiar with Torn Mime, I do a rendition for Man in the Box, and JC can attest that it is terrible. All right. All right, and for my bonus action, I'm going to have him hide again. All right. Let's uh, let's see if Bodex are smart enough to realize that there's no way to get out of those cabinets. Can you guys hear the ridiculousness? No, unfortunately not. She's just at my feet screaming. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, it's, it's a cat screaming night. Our 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 children were also screaming. What's it's a that? 17 for stealth. A 17 for I stealth. I heard a monsoon might okay. be coming, so they might know. Oh, yeah. Uh, the notorious J.I.N. Uh, is fairly confident that the Bodex do not know where he's at. Okay. Notorious <clears throat> J.I.N. Uh... Carvus. Yes. Carvus, you see that the main assailant is now no longer moving because they are mostly uh, pre-Krabby Patty. However, 
there are two other forms in this room that are bad things. Oh, sorry, Rip. Sorry, Jim. <laughs> they're they're, they're the, omnivores. The they're Krabby probably... Patties are now in ghost. I, I didn't play. say Rip or Jen. I said Carrie. Don't say it in front of Carrie. Oh, she's also semi-omnivorous, so, you know, it's fine. That's, That's fair. She probably when you find like out Krabby Patties are... Sir, it's crab meat. It's what makes them so good. Yeah. Sorry, Carvis. Uh, how would how, how would you like to increase joy? Um, can I cast Eldritch Blast at one of the boat acts? Hell yeah! Please do. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Now that we know how your spells work. Yay! Does a fourteen hit? The boat axe. Uh, da, 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 da. A fourteen does not hit the bodak, just barely. You're 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 like you're like, yeah, and it like kind of splashes on the ground. Arcane energies crackle. What else you got? Um, how far away from me are they? Uh, about one move. You can you can. From All right, the, from I'm you. just going to um. I'm just gonna try and hit it with a crossbow then. Uh. I don't or is think that, you, count as an attack? that is an attack. That is an action. Uh, as okay. is the right. As is the other thing usually. Although it is um, a cantrip. Yeah, no. It's, I mean, it, it, it is a cantrip, but yeah, it is a it is an attack spell. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I am going to just move. Uh, slightly out of just a little further out of range, maybe like one square back from them if possible, because I don't want to be in melee range of them. Yeah, you sure, definitely sure. don't want to be in that range. So, yeah. so I'm just going gonna, gonna to be like... <laughs> so very much it's WoW Raid <laughs> status, <laughs> casters at the back, melee up front. It's excellent. Yeah. It's good. All you right. just be like, so you, you, you fling and you go and move back and assess yeah. your situation for next go around. Okay. Well... So we no longer have them. Okay. So things happen again. All right. Uh, do, 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 Right. Things happened again. What was the thing? All right. Um, uh, everyone go ahead and... Uh, make perception checks. Uh, Polly, you can make yours with advantage. Does she have the light? 14. <laughs> oh, uh, 6 for Clash. The twins' highest score was 15. It was 13 and 15. Uh, 19 for Harvest. Alright, so it sounds like I got one under 10? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, two under 10, because I got a three. Excellent. I got a six. Yeah. Paul, you got over 10? Excellent. Yeah, I got 19. Okay, tight, tight, tight. Okay. Whatever, Paul. So, <laughs> with your advantage. Those of you under 10 forgot that. Uh, you should not be. You should not be. Uh, you should not be able to see the Bodak's eyes because bad things will happen. Oh, no. um, okay. Well, let me. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And both of you are in melee, so that is within the thirty feet. So, <clears throat> um, you see through the soulless eye sockets of the Bodak, and your heart shakes at the rage and pain and horror that stares back. Make me a constitution saving throw. Everyone? Uh, no, just me. Hazel and... Uh, oh, under 10s. Question. Yes. Seven. Oh, re real quick, let me resolve this. Uh, so, Clash was seven? Teen. Clash was 17. It was 8 plus 4 or 5, so 13. 
and 13. Ooh! Um, attacker wins, but I guess you would be defender. It's a 13 or... Okay, no, that's okay. Alright, cool. Uh, Alright. Ho ho! Okay. So, you are... You managed to steal yourself against the Death Gaze and uh, are not affected. Okay, so let me go over... It sounded like... Uh, Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Go ahead, Polly. What's the question? They do. Uh, sunlight hypersensitivity, but um, your cool light spell does not count as a sunlight source. Um, but they are intimidated by you, so I'm so that's why I give you advantage on your roll earlier, and they are not likely to come after you. It's a it I. I'm I'm rewarding creativity even though it may not be have, may not be as cool as you had hoped it would be. Um, I Nate, thought it was gonna be really cool. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it's cool, babe. <laughs> I thought that was so smart. Uh, I like this one. Nathaniel, what was your question? I didn't have one. I was just trying to get your attention for your question. Oh. Okay. I was like, I heard you say. Uh, all right, so that so they both do the look. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, now I'm now I'm now I'm now I want to double check. Let's see here. It's a bright light. Yeah. Okay. Um. The second Bodak also casts its gaze across the room. Everyone make perception checks again with advantage. Well, thank God for advantage. Well, <laughs> no, not so much. Oh. Oof. Wow. That's a 12. 16. Does, 16. does a uh, natural 20 count? Good enough? Whatever. Yes. So, okay, cool. no one in melee under 10, right? Correct. Good. Excellent. You learn to avert your gaze and not make eye contact. It's like being on public transit. Okay. That's not very clash. <sighs> All right. And not, then... Not very Nathaniel or Leaf. Um, the forward be. realization that you're in proximity with these creatures uh, waves, uh, rolls over you as... Uh, uh, Rip, Clash, and Hazel, you take 10 necrotic damage. What? You realize that there is a decent sized pool around both of these creatures that is not healthy to be in. Uh, mechanically, that's uh, 30 feet within within 30 feet of the Bodak. You take five necrotic damage. Uh, what if you end your turn within 30 feet of it? How far am I from him, roughly? More than 30 feet. The the casters stayed back in the middle of the room. The lectern is where the party's happening currently. So you're good. Where the party is happening. Yeah, yeah, you know, the party. The, uh, the, the pants. The, the party with the pants. Okay. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to be at that party. I don't like this party. <laughs> I wanted to be at the party without the pants. Okay. Ooh, no pants party. Okay. No pants party. Come on. Oh, all right. Just, just Donald ducking it everywhere. That's right. No, Winnie the Pooh in it. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I prefer Donald. <laughs> you prefer the Donald Duck look, all right? Personally, you know, a little sailor. It's the hat. <laughs> it's the hat. <laughs> I get it now. Totally. 
<laughs> oh, poor sweet Hazel. All right, so oh, no. one of the Bodex just flails wildly, sort of like a sort of like the Kermit Muppet situation, and you're just like, calm, no, just just stop. Whereas the other one uh, manages to actually get a good whack in on uh, ooh, on Hazel. One of those. Uh, and then Hazel, uh, as it makes contact, you realize that, like, the hit itself doesn't hurt. But it seems to siphon your very soul. Oh, boy. Yeah, My so you take... Big frown. Uh, you take three regular damage and five more necrotic. Okay, back at the top of the order. Polly! Uh, I guess I'm gonna shoot the guy that I Hazel. Bodak B sure. is what I've designated them. So make a hole in that B. Make a hole in that B. I'll come around and do what I do best. What was that? Does a 22 hit? 22 hits. Make a b-hole. Okay. <laughs> That's 16 points of damage on my first one. Huzzah. And then I'm going to shoot again because I hit two attacks. I pick you up, you get mad. Clack, clack. Let's see here. It does indeed. Roll damage. Yeah, that's 14 on the second one. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, math. Math. Math? Math. Yes. Okay. Great. Uh, oh, good. They bleed. Or at least appear to take some sort that they don't like the large they don't like the f high projectile metal the big balls. so that yeah that at least okay. seems comforting uh great rolling down the list again r.i.p uh rage in peace rip to him all right um he's still right in front of me so he's now no longer oh so wait he's dead yeah, Laertes, the other one, very close yeah. proximity. no longer moves, but uh, Bodak A is next to you, and uh, okay. it is doing bad things to all of you. Yeah. Um, I really don't want to touch him with my hand. Oh, my hands are a magical weapon, too, just so you're aware. Oh, yeah. Okay. I didn't know if that's, that's why you bully. said a disadvantage last time, so that's why I just wanted to check. They wrote, um, Hart wrote a song about you, yes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and punch him once first. Okay, that's going to be a 16 to hit. Uh, 16 does hit. Roll damage. Five damage. Excellent. Does it hurt me at all after I hit him? Uh, punching them does not hurt, just being near them. Okay, then I'm going to hit him again for my second attack. That one, ooh, 25 to hit. That so hits, roll damage. Four damage. Excellent, excellent. Then I'm going to spend a key point to stunning strike him. Woo How stunning. Oh, if only we were as clever as Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> uh fails the stunning strike so now is uh stunned and so oh. all attacks now have advantage wonderful on bodak i'm a. i'm going to use my bonus action uh real to quick do flurry Polly, yeah Polly, your gun's not magic is it uh, no 
Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, Wait, Sam. Doesn't she cast gun? If you no. cast gun, if you oh. try one spell, I cast gun. It's it's more of a summon, but yeah. Um, I'm going to use a uh, key point to before. use for flurry of blows on him. Blurry Two of more. flows, go for it. Blurry of flows. That's 19 on the first one, and seven damage on the second one. Ooh, natural 20! Yay! Double the dice. Nice. Uh. 10 damage, I think. Yes, 10 damage total on All the second right. hit. You have efficiently rocked this Bodak. Um, it sort of stumbles and and shudders, but some the, the the horrific malevolent energies keep it upright in spite of your vicious uh, uh, onslaught. Fisting. Mm-hmm. All right. Rolling down the line then. Leaf. Be, is it within 60 feet of my moonbeam? Yes. I'd like to move it 60 feet. Or I'd like to move it on top of the bodak. You valiantly go. In a presumably go, smart way. Yeah, you valiantly go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very quietly, too. As to not uh, let him know where I am. Yep. I would like him to save, I believe. Uh, oh, are you doing this to Bodak A, which was just punched several B, times? Or B, you, B, B, you're B, doing B, it to B. the B-hole. Got it. Because I don't want to have to... Because everybody's over at A, right? I don't want to have to contend with uh, them in a line. Sure, sure, sure. So I'll go to B. <laughs> Warm him up. Ooh, that's sweet radiant damage. That's nice. Okay, so... Yep. Alright, let's see. Do, 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 do. Con saving throw from you, please, sir. Oh, yeah, let's see. Oh, no. Nat 20. Oh, no. So half Do you damage. round down or round up for damage? 21. Round down. For that. 11, uh, 10. So 10 searing damage for the A-hole Bodak. Uh, radiant. I'm oh, sorry, the B-hole Bodak. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Yes, radiant. So it all... So as far as you can tell... It all goes through. It seems to wither and curdle uh, as the uh, mystic energies uh, crackle over it. Great. Uh, do you have other fun things you wanna you wanna keep doing, or are you just keeping the, the the magnifying glass on there? I'm mentally cheering everybody else on, but right. keeping it quiet. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Okay. Cool. Uh, let's hit up Clash. What's going on in their neck of the woods? Okay, so Quesh is going to use their rapier, because that's what Quesh casts on A. Sure, A is the one that just got punched a bunch. Yeah, so now I'm going to stab it. All right, so T plus... Advantage as well, because A is stunned. Yes. I am correct. A lot of advantage on A, because stun. Yes, yes, yes. 24 to hit. Hits. Roll that beautiful bean damage. Hit him right in the hole. Seven plus six is 13. And I'm going to spend a superiority dice and use Commander Strike. When you take the action, an attack action on your turn, you can forgo one of your attacks and use a bonus action to direct an ally that can see or hear you to use uh, to strike using its reaction. Nice. Adding superiority dice to their roll. Hey, Leaf! Can yeah. we get a beam? <laughs> so, in theory, Leaf can move his moonbeam over here. So, I don't think so, but why not? Mm. So, I don't think that's actually how that works, but I like the flavor that that leaves like, eh, and then you're like over here no. though, and, and then he's like, eh. yeah. I like to think I'm directing a spotlight a little bit too. Just just a fucking little, just doing ballyhoos back and forth between the bodaks. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Okay. So zoom it over. Uh, although so, Nathaniel, I'm gonna yeah, ask okay. you to do a survival check for me. Yeah. Fifteen. All right. Uh, that's that's gonna act as your orienting uh, role. Um, unfortunately, Bodak A made the save uh, that it needed to to not take full damage. But uh, what was the what was the what was the 11, superiority dice? Half. Oh no, you get to roll again if you want. So no, I he, just did. I got twenty-two. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so I add a D eight to that. To the damage. So, yeah. Great. Go ahead and that add that D eight. Eleven plus your D eight. Six. So seventeen. All right. Uh. Excellent. Yes. Um, so, similarly to Bodak B, uh, the the radiant light comes shimmering down on the creature, and it curdles up even further than the other did. Uh, it shakes and shivers as you can tell that Bodak A doesn't have a lot left to give. Uh, okay, can I yes. use bonus action to step away from his pool of angry? I believe. So. Oh no, not a bonus action. That would be a move. Okay. Well, I can use a mo a move action because I haven't moved <laughs> to step away from the angry. All right. So you used an Do attack a action. Do attack of opportunity. I used an attack because right. I have two attacks. Ooh, if you okay. Cool. Melee, he would an attack, attack opportunity. To ask Nate to use his moonbeam. Great. Mm -hmm. So I can move. Yes. Away. And right. he's stunned, so he wouldn't get an attack of opportunity. Yes. Oh, you for right, free. You're right. Oh. Good job, Sam. Ha 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 ha. All right. Thank so you, Sam. So you take that opportunity to scoot yourself away as Leaf does the does the narrow in on the moonbeam, and uh, you repost towards the center of the room outside of the Bodax aura. Huzzah. Yay. Yay, combat positioning. Thank you for keeping this in your brains, even though I don't have a map. Maybe one day I will be able to hook that up. We're working on it. Okay. Hazel. Yes. Um, am I in range of uh, the uh, yes uh, stunned evil? A mere five foot step should put you next to them. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a swing with my long sword at the stunned evil. Do it. Hmm. Advantage. Yes. Advantage. That's exactly what I'm going for this one. You just can have my dice. Okay. Uh, are the dice warmed up? This, one, this one's doing good. This one's doing good. Okay, 13 plus 6, I'm 19 to hit. That one hits. Roll damage. Okay, and also because this one hit, I am going to finally use the one the whole time on Wavering Mark on Yay. this one. Um, so mark the creature to the end of your turn, next turn, or if you're in incapacitated or you die. Um, Logs within five feet of you, a marked creature has disadvantage on any attack roll that doesn't target you. So if it's making an attack on anyone else, um, it has disadvantage besides me. Oh. Um, if the marked creature deals damage to anyone else, you can make a special melee attack against it on your next turn, turn as a bonus action with advantage and added a, a plus to extra damage. You can make this attack three times per long rest. Oh, Dang. right. So, yeah. Cavalier skills. Oh, getting to use them. <laughs> All right. Um, so, wait. I attack. What's my attack? Where's my damage? Uh, two, one, D, eight. Oh, that is five plus five. Plus five. Uh, so, ten points of damage. Respectable. Respectable. You you steal yourself. You, ca you, you, you make the mark. And uh, you manage to cleave into the shambles of this creature. Um, what, uh, what, Hazel? If you were attempting to put this creature down, what would that look like with that long sword of? Uh, it doesn't deal the full ten. It does deal the five, but that seems to do it. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna. Be trying to just like just get a clean slice of the head because I just feel like when things 
you know, guy, guy messy on it and end it quick. You know, I'm kind of chivalrous there. <laughs> so yeah, you, you also just be like, oh, yeah. these are going very poorly. You come in, you Far trepidatiously make the mark, you do the overhand slash down because its head sort of juts forward and you manage to connect, slapping into what little sinew and bone is left after it's been uh, uh, belabored and a the gross, gnarled, charred head sort of flops on the ground as the rest of its form crumples. I believe you do you have another attack or a bonus action a second attack is it okay to take the second attack towards a different creature uh yes you have the movement to engage on bodek b to then uh, take your second attack so i'll take a another swing uh the first swing at uh the the b hole yes the b hole um uh that is the 10 plus 6, a 16 hit. 16 hits the beehole. hole Alright, I'm going to use my... Uh, uh, yeah, I can do it again. I'm going to then put, uh, use my second unwavering mark uh, for my, my long rest on this guy. And I'll do my damage. So he'll have disadvantage on anyone attacking anyone else besides myself. Love it. Um, 2 plus 5, 7 points of damage. Okay. So yeah, this one definitely wasn't as gratifying as a hit, but it has the mark, and uh, I believe that does it for you, unless you got a bonus in there you want to squeak in? Uh, yes, actually, I will take my bonus. I'm going to, I was hit pretty hard last round. I'll take my uh, bonus action to do second wind. Um, uh, so 1d10 plus 5. Oh, sweet! My work is back for hopefully rest. Uh, that's 10 plus 5, so 15, I recover 15 points of health. Nice, nice. Yay. Hazel's, Hazel's right. catching their stride. Love it. All right. Okay. Uh, rolling off the back of Hazel's excellent turn, uh, Jin has an opportunity to, uh, to contribute to this particular murder as well. He jumps out of his hiding spot. <laughs> I'm in your home. What you gonna do about it? Welcome to the Black Parade, bitch. Uh, 18 to hit. Base damage is 7. Plus a sneak attack. Uh, 11. 12. (gasps) 17 damage. Okay. So yes, um, he notices that the arrow does not dig as deep as he would have liked. But it does strike true, and uh, it, there is a shudder from the boat deck as uh, he he lands a very good hit. Um, does he use his bonus action to hide again? Yes. All right, roll that stealth. Uh, my gosh. Ooh, 21. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do, 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 do. Sneaky boy, sneaky Ooh. big boy. As he slithers, as he as he slides his newly large frame back into the box, because he's like <laughs> these dumb Bodex, they can't see me. It locks vacant void eye sockets with him. Uh, so uh, no, it saw him. Boo. Yeah, sorry. Next one. Well, you'll Only still get one the, or both. Well, just the ones left. Oh, oh, okay. But, uh, I mean, you still get sneak attack because someone's in melee with them, so that should be fine. Oh, but, yeah. Uh, okay. But, as, but it doesn't uh, doesn't apply to that. Anyway, after Jin, Carvus. Um, let's go do Eldred class. Do I get uh, advantage at all? Yes. Yes? Okay. No. No. I don't think this one has been okay. CC'd yet. The mark doesn't give advantage, right? No, it's not just disadvantage on its attack rolls on all of you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, no, no cool stuff on this one, but, uh, yeah. Woo, 26! That Yay. does hit roll that beautiful Eldritch Blast damage. Oh, oh, Tony, the one that was killed was the one that I had stunned. Oh, yeah, okay. you, you, worked, you worked the body. You got it out. 
Okay. Uh, six damage. Wow, you rolled a two? Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, that does count as a cantrip. Uh, but it's still an it's still an action. So if you have like yeah. a, you've got to, there's got to be more you can do at this level. We could talk. If you think of something, let me know. Right now, I'm looking at it. It's all it's, all I have a bunch of attack spells and armor spells. You don't have a crossbow or a bow and arrow or something? Yeah, I but do. But I already cast an attack yeah, spell. Yeah, you can't do so that. Can't yeah. do oh, that's fine. I'm trying. I don't have a. Can you cast? Yeah. Eldritch no, twice? No, you can't. I think so. No, it's a attack spell. So yeah. You... Huh. Do you have anything that buffs other people? No. Yeah, but no one did it, so I haven't done it. <laughs> That's fair. You get two attacks per action, uh, JC? No. She... No. Um... I have two weapon fighting as a bonus action, but, but that's you have to use a weapon. Yeah, you have, yeah. To, you have to have a spell that has bonus action, or uh, yeah, yeah, has to have a bonus action too. Nope, none of my spells are bonus actions. You really. do have some yeah. other cool spells, but they're not reactions. Yeah, I have like if someone hits me, I have a reaction spell. Yeah, but I don't have a bonus action spell or slot to use. Yeah. And she's also got some other big weird spells that aren't necessarily useful at this moment. So, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, no, nope. you look at but like and I looked it over and there's nothing there. Well, you do notice that uh, your Eldritch Blast does does impact fully, uh, whereas some of these other more uh, mundane weapons are not hitting with the same uh, impact. So. Okay. So you can feel good about that. Alright, and you're still out of the 30 foot range, so you don't really have to worry about taking extra goodies. So you're good there. Alright, speaking of which, uh, Hazel. Yep. Uh oh. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, so, um, Hazel and, uh, Rip Turum. Uh, you are both going to take five necrotic damage as you are within 30 feet of the Bodak. Oh, we. Yeah, so that, that happens. And then. Please both make me perception checks with advantage. I should have been fighting two weapon style this whole time. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, thank goodness for the advantage. Uh, 15 for Hazel. 21. If you only know how to use one, and you're really good at it, you don't need to. Um, you go with one. <laughs> all good, Hazel and uh, Rip. You avert your gaze um, from the eye sockets of these of this horrid monster as it attempts to shake you further with its dread gaze. <gasps> so that's good. And, oh, yeah, no, so you're good there. All right. And then, uh, don't worry, Hazel, it doesn't mind attacking you. So, <sighs> really, <laughs> really, really, that's a, that's a, yeah, that's a, that's a nine. So, uh, it, it kind of, it kind of slap fights at you, uh, because I think it knows it is hardly outmatched, which brings us to Polly. Uh, would you, would you, would you like to cast gun? Would love to cast gun. Okay. <laughs> Summon um, bullet. Are they both, are both Bodak still up? No, just the one. No. The one in front of your friend who's a boy. Oh, well, I'm going to shoot him. <laughs> Who, you smooched? I know. <laughs> the, the smile. <laughs> Yo, shout out to my ace friends. Just are you uh uh you the the joke that JC linked us that was like two aces sitting in a tree. S I T T I N G. Please call Please the fire call. department. We've been up here 3 days. <laughs> so good. 
What you got, Polly? You stuck it. What was that? Twenty-three. Oh yeah, that hit. Roll damage. Uh oh. Fourteen damage. Two zero. Fourteen. One four. Oh, fourteen. Yeah. Okay, seven great. Plus seven. All right, so. Uh, if if you if, uh, say that only half of that got through, but was still enough to take out the creature, what would it look like? Technically, lights just on my gun, but could it be like the radiance goes through with the bullet and it like just kind of like warps into nothing, like a Sailor Moon villain that's just been destroyed? <laughs> <laughs> There's like a and it just bursts <laughs> of light and then sprinkles down and sparkles around us. So, Gosh. so the so everyone in the so. Everyone except Polly in the room uh, sees the projectile impact the creature and parts of rags and its decrepit flesh go flying everywhere as, it, as the impact sort of just explodes it. It gets on Hazel, gets a little on Rip. Even Jin is like, ooh, in the, in the box there, right? And it's all kind of gross. Polly, in the anime... Yes. The anime of your eyes. The light flashes and like gets sucked into the barrel. You, the filigree along the along the um, along the the piping lights up in stark contrast, and a, a, a glowing beam of light ejects from the end of the barrel, impacting pinprick on it, uh, and doing that sweet like exploding from the inside, light ejecting from the cracks thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And, uh, and, and it sparkles. Voice. We hear its distant voice echoing, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Just a nail home that Sailor Moon vibe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we're now out of initiative order. And it may or may not dawn upon some of you that you've murdered a high-ranking member of the court in the middle of the palace. Mm-hmm. Quick. Hazel, disguise yourself to look like this guy. I'm not I, uh, <laughs> I get. Do we need the spotlight anymore? Or no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just a uh, forty foot high. <laughs> yeah. Um. Because I like look at look at my wrist. And I'm like, we got like uh, thirty more seconds of this. <laughs> How is he murdered again? Like, uh, we stabbed him a million times. You did it right. <laughs> Yeah, no, I punched him. And beat and the shit out of him. Yeah, Damn, I was trying to think of how we could make it look like a suicide. I brought the power of the loon down on him, and so <laughs> he, he's, he his like, clothes are burnt like now. He, Carvis he, has uh, an idea. Um, I would like to investigate the room to see if there's any uh, sort of like incriminating evidence about him. Yeah, go, go I don't want to make... do that, but I'm very curious to the bookshelf. I'd like to help. Okay. Great. So, uh, with um, with help, whoever has the highest investigation score, go ahead and roll that with advantage. Wait, what? What's your investigation, JC? <laughs> only a plus two. I'm down to zero. <laughs> I'm only a plus one. Okay. But, hold on. Jin, Jin is a plus nine. So, Jin comes out and is like, wait! Brother. <laughs> Nice. So, so we're both gonna roll, gonna and whoever has the highest is that what you said? No, Jin gets to roll with advantage since he's being. Helped. Okay, just roll with advantage. Okay, I'm all like, 25. okay, we're, we're looking for anything that can like put this guy like in jail forever. Something that he's a bad, bad man, and that's what he deserves. Don't to worry die. about. Don't worry about not rolling too high on this one. Uh, it, it's pretty obvious, but. Go ahead and make the roll. Uh, Nathaniel, you're looking at books? Yeah, the bookshelf's nearby. Do I see anything interesting? Uh, so everything on the shelf, um, pretty boring, actually. Lots of, like, history, mm. religion, uh, some ledgers of just, like, regular, like, bullshit 
just transactions because uh, nothing that he had out was really uh, suspicious. But nothing nature specific. Um, there, there's some, there's, there's some stuff that talks about the ecology of the surrounding area. So if you're interested in that, you can absolutely snatch those up. I, I take one. But oh, oh, so oh, you're just gonna read up on them? You're not gonna take them? No, I'm gonna take a book and put it in the bag. Okay, you are stealing from the palace. Dog, we just we just murdered someone in the okay. high court. I can okay. take a book. Okay, no, hey, just just making sure. All right. And I drop it in a bag. Um, can I drop this guy's self? I don't know if this is the right move or not, but I feel like my face could be a good piece of evidence to be like we were attacked. So, hear me out. So by exposing you as this long lost prince, um, if everyone's loyal to this shish kebab over here, they're gonna want to kill you too. Hear me out. <laughs> I turn into a wolf or an animal, and we pretend that I did it, and then, like, we'll make a huge commotion. You guys run away. I turn into a different animal, and we peace this out. This guy looks like we Ides the marched him. And then, how yeah, did the wolf get in the palace? I'm just, I'm just, that's just one idea. It doesn't have to be a wolf specifically. <laughs> we can blame it on an animal. People have blamed it on. All right, Jin. Uh, what did you roll, Jin? I know you said not to worry, but I did roll a 25, so. All right. So, Jin, you're like, you're like, guys, 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 guys. Look at these fucking creatures. Look at the chain with the thing to the curtains. And like I'm sure, and and he's like, also look inside these things, and you can see inside of the cabinets there are like markings and 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 wards and such that were built for it. He's also like, also check this shit out, and he points down at the carpet on the ground. It's been sort of flipped around and and moved in places. You can see that there's some sort of inlay under the carpet, and as you pull it back, you see that there's a giant summoning circle. Uh, with blood marks all across under it. Ew. So, I don't think anyone would be like, oh yeah, they came in here and did all this and put this inlay into the fucking floor in the last <laughs> two minutes. Yeah. I, think, I think this works. I think, I think, I think this works. I think well, we well, there's no one in here. I take that fancy rock. Okay, Upon seeing just... that, Leaf takes the book out of his bag and puts it back on the shelf. <laughs> and uh, Fine, I put the rock slowly back. taps it in and just um, like, we gotta, you know, we gotta, we gotta tell some people. So here's the idea. When they come in, because sh I'm sure there's someone might be coming soon. When they come in, the story is we came to deliver a package and then out of nowhere, he attacked us and look at all this bad stuff and the package has been destroyed in the process. There's a Going to find someone, right? That's the way to do it. Going to find someone, something horrible happened. Waiting for them to find you. Oh, go out, what right? was the lady? What was the lady this. at the counter? She this. was so nice. I got this. I got this. Hold up. I'll be right back. Carvis bolts out of the room. <laughs> I have we fully pulled the um, carpet back? Exposed, like it's fully uncovered and you, stuff. You, you, I, I got you, Lisa. You kind of pulled it away a little bit. Why? Just no, to, I want to fully just, uncover. Just to fully yeah, expose yeah, it. Like, okay, yeah. We're, you start we're like pushing it, it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To, to, yeah. So it's obvious. I want there to be no question in. when she comes in. A hundred percent. Like I, you know what I? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Lisa. Where's Deline? Uh, Deline was there. Deline was helping. She was staying out of. It, it's fine. Same with Bane, and okay. Carrie. So Carrie. So kind of forgot about them. Carrie had plot long. protection. It was fine. Yeah. It was good. Um, I was having enough trouble keeping track of all of you plus three NPCs. No, no, no that's, not, that's not what I was trying to say. It I was more along the line of, like, I, I want to, like, hey, hey, Deline, what do you think we should do? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, You're no, the dignitary here. They're good. Um, so, Carvis, you go bolting down the hallways of this, uh, of this arid palazzo. And <laughs> uh, you manage to get uh, all the way to the office 
of the of the court of the count's clerk. And uh, do you just bust on in Kramer style? Yeah. yeah, like I bust in, like I've been running and I'm out of breath, and I'm like, Bane is barking up a storm. Like it's it's a commotion. What was her name again? I I have my I don't have my notes. Oh, <gasps> you I'm don't not? remember her name? Yeah, yeah. I think. That's what I have in my notes. Viola. Viola. Also, I pull out a my notebook and I draw the summoning circle. I trace um, it out on my book. It's a pretty. I don't know how it's a pretty me, basic but, one. That's the the. But I do it. Like yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. So um, yeah, I just Kermit just passes like Viola, Viola. There's been a with the barking. She's already almost at the door with the sword out. She's like, where, what? Let's go. We were we were attacked by the vizier, and now he's dead, because he tried to attack us, and he was a very 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 bad man. He had bodak, and like summoning a circle, it was all bad. When you say bodak, she spits reflexively. Yeah, yeah, I feel the same way. Uh, but now there's a really big mess, and now we need help, and it was very it was bad. It was it was really bad. She. She lowers the sword, and puts one hand on your shoulder. And it's very... She's she's strong. She's a strong <laughs> lady. <laughs> it hurts just a little. She's a strong lady. And uh, and she goes, Okay. Show me. Okay? And okay. you feel the hand sort of pivot so that it turns you around. And you're like, Oh, she's a strong lady. And uh, as you're kind of walking, you hear yes, her I... shout... What's that? Insight. Oh, you want me to do an insight? Eh, no, she I, trusts her. All right. So, I, I, yeah. whether or not she should, do you want to do an insight? Sure, I'll do an insight. All right, do an insight. Um, while she's walking you, um, you see her shout across. Was that? 18. 18, okay. Yeah, no, obviously, she's strong and sexy. They, well, how could she do anything wrong? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> She Very shouts. Insightful. A, she Obviously. shouts across the 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 uh, across the the um, courtyard. The yeah, yes. the little marshalling yard there. She goes, she goes, Fwip, get get Captain Marhad with a contingent and meet me at the vizier's office. And uh, you see this unassuming uh, human sort of be like, oh, and hustles off in a different direction. Um, as we're walking, I, uh, like, to the thing, I he actually threatened. And he was like, oh, I don't know if you're going to make it to your date on time. I was like, how rude. <laughs> make me a persuasion check. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm unfortunately going to say at disadvantage. Okay. Might not be, might not, might not have been the best time to say that. Twelve. Different words. Yeah, you're. Uh, well, let's see here. Uh. You you look at her face intently, and there's a there there seems to be a wash of emotions. Uh, you're not okay. sure exactly what it reads, but she she definitely has some feelings about that. Okay. So. Uh, you guys head back to the uh, vizier's room. Uh, yeah. In the in the minute or so that that took, uh, the rest of you just sort of like breathing, taking stock, doing a little healing. Yeah. Does anybody need who's hurt? Is anybody bad? Because um, I, can... I took about twenty points of damage. All right. Let me touch you. Uh, Rip also took about 20 points. With one hand, you take eight, and with the other hand, uh, Rip take gets seven. Seven. Nice. No, no, no. You need to do them in front of each other. <laughs> mm. <laughs> good, good. Yes. Take air biscuits while you're doing it. <laughs> Feel the heel. All right. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Watch is very confused and not sure they didn't like this all very much. <laughs> it doesn't not feel nice, but it still makes me uncomfortable. Okay. 
Um, the joys of touch falls. So as uh, you guys hear, you guys hear many boots on the on the stones of the palace echoing through the through the spacious hallways. Uh, Carvis, you and Bane and Viola are quickly joined by a small squad of palace guard. Uh, there seems to be a somewhat decent mixture of half orc and human. Um, and as they turn the corner and take in the sight of the room, there are some gasps and you hear the unsheathing of some swords, but uh, there's a human uh, woman who has sort of a crest on her helm and uh, she sort of holds up Quest a hand what's up? Quest still has their sword out okay. like <laughs> she sort of holds up a hand before they enter the room and uh, she's like uh, the, the, the human's like Viola what's going on? And Viola's like, Portia, these individuals had a conflict with the vizier, who is now dead. And so uh, the captain is like, The captain looks around. Viola's also started like taking some some bits in, and they're like, "There's there's a long pause as sort of all the math starts to click together." Wow, Gazuntite. I got the command D to mute myself in just the nick of time. <laughs> um, can can Quest do an insight? Yeah, go for it. Inside check. Where's my insight? Uh, 13. I'm sorry, 23. <laughs> Nin 19 plus 4 is 23. Right, with the 23, you all should be arrested by now. Typically. But the fact that that hasn't happened yet means that they're trying to figure out exactly what happened Clush slowly puts their rapier back into the sheath. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Cap, uh, the, the one in the lead, Portia, is like... Viola, start looking around, and then she turns around and she's like, lock down this edge of the, this end of the palace. No one comes in or out until I give the word. Uh, and then she points it at the guy from before, Flip. She's like, Benedict, go check on his highness. And th the unassuming man sort of just bolts off down the hallway. Um, the other guard, two of them post up inside. You see a couple more post up right outside and a couple more march off around. Viola's started coming around the room and she's like, okay. Okay. What happened? <laughs> I feel like Rip and Jin both start to talk and then they both cover each other's mouths. Um, I have a plus five for persuasion. Yeah, I was about to say, I, don't, I feel like like Clash might be the one that has the most diplomacy yeah. here. I mean, you're also the highest ranking Clush. Yeah. Well, you know, at least you tail know. curls around his body. Yeah, um, I, was so. yeah I was about to say, I would, I would oh, leave yeah. Hazel and Clush. I also, Hazel, you're you, so uh, yeah. I well, look at Clush. <laughs> uh, Hazel does and, have a trump card. Yes. Uh, does have a trump card, yeah. Um, but uh, if you assist Clash, then yes, Clash can roll with advantage. Yeah. Okay. Assist Clash. Thank you. I'm here. I'm the very stern. I'm being kind of a hype oh, man. Oh, shit. 18? It's 18? What was it? 
Nat 20. Oh! Okay. Check one right there. Damn. Nope. Yeah, no, it's too bright. My yeah. dice are clear. Anyway, um, Quash explains exactly what happened. We came in, we had a delivery, we told him we had a delivery, and then he was like, you're crazy, I'm crazy, here's this death god, I'm gonna open this thing, and then these monsters came out, and then he was attacking us, and then I thought he was looking at Deline funny, so I started attacking him back, <laughs> and this is what's here now. Also, the box got smashed. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna leave it up to Hazel whether or not she wants to out himself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yes, in uh, it, in in the in 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 an earnestness that in an earnestness that only Klesh can bring to bear, they are able to quickly, concisely, and uh, accurately convey what happened, without including the part about Hazel being uh, a prince. So. Nope. Um. Uh, I also have the thing that because I'm so genuine, most people believe me. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 100%. Uh, Viola, so, you know, sort of once once Clash was like, and then we had Carvis go get you because obviously this is weird. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Viola sort of nods and as her eyes move from Clash over the evidence back over to Portia, who um, uh, you notice partway through the the retelling, a guard has come has come hustle has come hustling in. Goes, oh shit, uh, Captain. Uh, apparently, Portia is a captain. Uh, it's like Benedict has secured his highness. Uh, there's no other signs of of uh, of violence in the castle at this time. Um, the captain's like, doesn't matter. High alert, the entire castle. Uh, make sure, make sure everyone's at their post until I give the word. Um, and he's like, yes, sir, and hustles back out. Um, can I ask a, a question? And this is Hazel to Viola and the captain. Uh, sure. Um, so just at the tail end of the last of the of the of the telling of the story, uh, Viola sort of like looks over at the captain as like. Like and just sort of gestures to everything, and the captain's like, "Yeah, yeah." So in that pause, yeah, Hazel, what you got? What? What? Was this an unusual behavior for the the Sierra? Is this? Was this out of nowhere, or is he kind of always been? I mean, maybe you're not free to discuss, but he's gone now, so maybe... Uh. Well, he's dead now, so maybe you can talk uh, about it. Well, you can talk about well, I mean, it's just surprising. He doesn't seem like... This is not what I would expect to find in uh, such a fine room like this. So... <laughs> uh, so, Captain Portia uh, attempts to be like, no, publicly, no one ever, this isn't allowed, and no one should, this is heresy that shouldn't have happened. And then Viola just straight up is like, is like, I fucking knew it. Fucking traitor. Fucking blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, like she rolled a one on her, on her diplomacy check. So, or, uh, yeah, they both, actually, I had them both do a, a like a, basically a, a bluff check. That I was gonna have you insight against, but it was a one and a nine, so that shit wasn't happening. Um, so yeah, so apparently, no, this shouldn't. The, the vizier should not have been doing this, um, and some people suspected he was kind of a dick bag, and this is just affirming uh, all of Viola's suspicions. Um, and the captain was trying to be a little more diplomatic about it, but kind of was like, yeah, no, I thought he was an asshole too. Um, so that is the vibe you get. He really was an asshole. And I don't right. use that word lightly. And then Hazel kind of lean in a little bit more uh, and just be like, 
I understand you're not in the position to actually tell any of us this, but is this is this kind of a shared thing with Insanus instead uh, uh, as well, or was this kind of an? I'm sure you can't tell us, but I just want to know what we're getting into as uh, being in the situation. Um. <laughs> uh, once again, um, the captain's like, no, officially, there's, there's no, there's no such thing as the Orcus cult, and the fact that he has Bodax is highly unusual. And I was like, <clears throat> I knew it. He's probably the head priest. A whole fucking thing. It's they're they're out there, and it's ha and so. <laughs> She's like, I don't know why we're all quiet about it. We just need to figure out who it is. Get him out. Right. Carvis just looks pointedly at Hazel like, we're not going to say anything? Okay. Hazel wants to be free. In about <laughs> that empty space of time, you guys hear more boots coming down the hallway. Uh, metal ones this time. Oh, good time. Uh, uh, Hazel thinks that things could get... Uh, uh, I had this whole moment of things could get very, very bad very, very quickly. And this guy's self is not going to last for that much longer. And other people already saw through it. And, you know, it could go very badly if he outs himself. But maybe this is actually better for his crew if he does. Uh, because then the target will be on him. And, and Malone, potentially. So he drops it. So, so Hazel drops it. Oh. The disguise? For reals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have your hood up or no? No. Yeah, I took it down during the yeah, photo. Whip, yeah, whipped it out. I, whipped it down during. <laughs> whipped it out during combat. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll drop it and. Uh, I won't take the ring out yet. I'll just look in, in uh, I'll kind of go back and forth between Viola's eyes and the captain's eyes to look for recognition. Wait, so all, so all you did was uh, was drop... Uh, this guy's self. This guy's self? Okay, yeah. Um, so actually that seems to elicit a reaction. The captain, like, puts her hand on her hilt. Like, this is... What's this new bullshit? Clush also puts their hand on their hill. Yeah. Viola, Viola oh, I never also. Put her gun away, so. Yeah. Viola. Also... Vi yeah. I was gonna say Hazel has definitely both hands raised, not on the weapon, and goes, "Sorry for the deception." Leaf's tail starts curling up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> little, little, little snaky. <laughs> yeah. Does Leaf go all bottle brush and? Yeah, uh, starts starts to. As Viola takes the step back, she looks at you, and realization starts to dawn on her face, and she's like, "Oh, oh, you, 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 uh, we didn't lie, but I think I know why he attacked us." <laughs> and she like points over at the captain. The captain is like, "What?" And Viola's like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's great. And she, like, like steps back like she's about to watch fireworks. As the loud, clanky boots turn the corner, there is a full retinue of palace guard in full armor, weapons out, uh, ready to go. And uh, the, the other guard sort of move in, so there's... So basically, there's a clump of soldiers at the back of the room, uh, yeah. ready, ready to basically just body absorb all of you, if necessary. Leaf, Leaf big, not happy. Like uh, Leaf, no light guard. So uh, <laughs> all the hair sticking up and uh, the tail up. We're not fighting. But I just don't like guards. Uh. <clears throat> Definitely uh, a half draw on that sword now. <laughs> like, not yet. What's all this? 
uh, as the last couple guards position up inside the room, you see they're even more outside. Um, and a shorter than you'd expect, but still statuesque sort of, uh, imagine if Morgan Freeman were more green and shorter. <laughs> With a big hat. With a big hat. Big sort of... A great big feather. Sort of... No, no feather, but definitely like... Top sort hat? of like the... Uh, sort of like, hat or top? Sort of like... Flat top? Sort of a sort of a, uh, a mixture of like a Pope hat and the uh, Pharaoh crown. Mm. Sort of a vibe. Okay. Um, okay. Are we talking upper or lower? No, the, the, joined, the joined upper and lower. You know what I'm talking about. Come on now. I know, you know, I know a little bit. All right, and uh, just the one looks dumb. Like, sorry, I, I forget. I see. See, I forget if it's the upper or the lower. That's just the condom. That one's dumb, but with both, classy. All right. Anyway, uh, Egyptology hot takes. Uh, that's what you get here at uh, Tark's crew. Okay. Well, my eye today. <laughs> um. See, so yeah, a mixture of like the Pope's hat and that thing going on, sort of to give you a vibe, and. Um, uh, a couple of you realize instantly that this is the this is the high hero fan. Uh, yes, Leaf, you slink into the corner where where you're pretty sure no one really notices you. Because mm -hmm. you. you just rolled that, right? Or am I seeing an old roll? I wish. I, I did just roll. I did just roll it natural 20 though when you said that i clicked the button and that's a natural 20 to slink into the uh okay back corner. yeah all right um all right your boy his name is hierophant polonius what a, where's the full thing Ah, yes. Hierophant Caliban Havenguard. That's a whole mouthful. Well, he's a big fancy man with a big fancy hat, so he needs a big That's fancy hat. He's not a big, he's a short fancy man. Yeah. Uh, big metaphorically. Um, so he kind of steps in, he's like, he steps in, Importante. and uh, he, he sees, uh, he sees the, the sort of sword half drawn, and he's like, that shouldn't be necessary. Um, you also notice the uh, the unremarkable human uh, who apparently is named Benedict Fwip, who uh, was summoned uh, by Olivia initially and was told to secure his holiness here, um, appears to be at the Hierophant side, much closer than anyone in uh, in that little armor you might expect to be. Um, the more perceptive of you notice this, some of you might not clock it at all. But uh, he's sort of like, please, please, lower your weapons. Uh, if, uh, if those were necessary, he sort of gestures around. He's like, we would have had that resolved already. And uh, he sort of steps in, he goes, I guess if introductions are in order, you know, I'm, you know, you can call me Caliban. Um, an associate of mine has informed me that you are Deline, Clash, there was a Leaf, uh, Polly, Jin Rip, Hazel, Carvis, Bane. Boof. At yeah. Adam. He's like, and it seems you had a disagreement with my trusty vizier. And he sort of steps in and sort of shakes his head and sort of clucks at the heaps of what remains of the boat axe. And um, a distinct aroma has started to permeate from behind the lectern at this point. And he sort of like leans back and he just... Or he leans over, he leans just a little to get a view of what's left. Sort of shakes his head and clucks and kind of steps 
a couple steps back and he goes, Well, everything's a matter of perspective, and uh, instead of murderers to be jailed, it seems you are heroes who uncovered a plot right next to my own bedroom. So how Wonderful. does how does a ruler of a nation handle this? And he sort of looks over, and he looks dead at you, Hazel. And uh, Hazel, make me a make me a perception check. Thirteen plus five, You uh, you've played enough games of chance with gnomes that uh, when you're on your game, you can pick up a tell. And uh, his are that his eyes crinkle at the corners just a little bit. And uh, he sort of chuckles as he makes eye contact after having said that, after having said that sentence of what is a nation's ruler to do with this sort of situation. <laughs> and uh, he sort of, he sort of like, from what I heard, you were here merely to deliver an item to the previous vizier and then be on your way? Yes. That is our intention. Well, as the evidence against Laertes there is pretty apparent and uh, you were attacked by someone who was supposedly a trusted member of this court perhaps we can call it a wash insight it's, yeah yeah go ahead and roll insight insight please double check sees yeah everybody nat 20 again yeah Oh, no, if, if he's if he's offering to let you guys walk out scot-free in front of everyone standing here, that would be a hell of a lot of work to go back on his word or put a hit out on you of some sort because there's a ton of people in this room. I mean, I just assume he's going to let us walk free and then, like, as we're walking through the, the soldiers, they just, like, you know. But if, if that's fair, that's fair. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, um, no. looks around and says, "That seems fair." And then, sh completely sheaths the sword and takes Deline's hand and goes, "The package was destroyed in the melee, so even if it was meant for evil, it can do nothing anymore." There's the box. <laughs> Trampled. He sort of looks down at it, and then he looks over at Benedict, and Benedict's all like, "Shrug." And so the <laughs> Caliban looks back up and he's like, I, we are likely to burn most of the ex vizier's effects due to their distasteful nature. And he sort of takes a glance over at the, at the boat axe. Like you can tell every every half orc and most of the most of the humans in this room whenever the bodex become a, a, a thing of it like these are anathema to a lot of what they're yeah. into um he's like but before you go he sort of looks back over at hazel he's like should you visit our country again our capital or even our palace you'd be welcome as friends to the city at this time but perhaps give us a little bit of warning, uh, maybe through our own uh, count clerk, as uh, she's shown herself uh, to be an un, uh, to be a, a valuable asset to ourselves, and to any members of the royal family. <laughs> she might not even be a she might not even be a clerk. Should you return to visit? Oh, she gonna get a promotion. Is this is this no. like a, or should we see an application on the job board soon for this position? Or? 
<laughs> what was that? Should we see a job application on the job board for this soon? Or... Uh, if if uh, if if Rip is cheeky and sort of floats that out, then uh, the vizier would be like, "Well, if I, or sorry, the the hierophant, he's like, well, if I have to spell it out, I'm thinking I know who's going to fill that role already." And he sort of looks over at Viola, and she's all like, <laughs> "Nice, get that promotion, girl." I hope you're still making for the date though during all your promotional shit. <laughs> So he's like, with that said, it seems our trusty clerk and our captain of the guard had this well in hand before I arrived and had to just be nosy. Uh, there will be paperwork to do. So having said what I've said, I'll leave you with that. If there's nothing else that I'm needed for, and he sort of looks around. I'm going to go back to my duties. The twins giggle. You're muted, Carvis. It's the daytime still, right? Yes, it's afternoon. Oh. That's what I thought. Okay. I thought it was later. Okay. No, yeah, I was thinking it was like first thing in the morning or like earlier in the day because we wanted to like get it done. Yeah, you're yeah. trying to do a weird timing thing, so it is a specific time of day, I forget. Yeah. I think it was just after lunch. Hazel? Yeah. Um How far am I personally from Hazel? About thirty feet. Are you are you good, Nathaniel, or did you or were you gonna say are you gonna do something? No. You're good. Just checking. My leaf is staring a similar to I <laughs> said situation. Um, I uh, Carvis turns to Viola and I was like, well, well, I guess we might have to reschedule, seeing so you're gonna be busy with some paperwork. I, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Viola's like, Viola's like, uh, I make time for the dog. You should, yeah, pretty much. She, she was like, he's such a cute dog. <laughs> She's like, you should be there anyway, just in case. Oh, okay. Well, um, we'll be there. Just, just in case. All right. Okay. Leaf Paper, goes. Paperwork makes uh, paperwork can make one hungry and thirsty. So, we'll see. Hungry. Definitely. Actually, she's like she's like so the so if no one else has anything to say to the hierophant, he sort of excuses himself, as does the majority of the guard. Before before he leaves, his will just be like, "We'll let you know if we're." Coming back. Coming back. <laughs> the hero fans like, yeah, sure, sure. Also, should you, I guess, uh, you know, if you, you know, sometimes we're kind of a tourist attraction. So if you bring your, he sort of, he sort of, he's like, he's like, he, he's like, he's like, you should figure out whether or not you're ever gonna visit again. Just, just, I'm just gonna put it that way. So, please. So we know, you know? Okay. Good talk. <laughs> uh, go ahead and make an insight check on that one. Just so much internal screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped a three! <laughs> you need to dice. This Why many? You drop a three? Can I roll a perception to see this if I can three? tell? Yeah, anyone else, feel free. What's your perception or insight? Insight. I'm just... I'm just not insightful, so that's why I said perception. Yeah, same. Oh my goodness. That's a ten. Um, I did not roll a twenty this time, but I did get a insight a fourteen. I got a twenty-three. Got an eight. <laughs> I got an eight. Polly, how'd you do? Nine. Tight. Funny enough. The, the other royalty in the room gets it. So, um, the hero fan is heavily alluding to the idea that if Hazel has children, 
it can continue to make this complicated. So the Hierophant is all but saying that Hazel needs to figure his shit out and either get on the throne or get off. Ah, so that, in or out, make a yeah. choice. <laughs> um, yep, that, true. That uh, he's not going to force it at this time since there seems to be something else going on and he has a lot of other things to deal with. But that that sort of either needs to renounce it or 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 visit or uh, get it situated sooner than later. So Rip and Jen oh, probably sort of like look at each other and are like, mm-hmm. and then everyone mm-hmm. else is like, is she going to go on that date? It sounds like she's going to go on a date. <laughs> I wish my insight was better because Hale's was trying to figure out if this guy wants some debt or Uh so yeah, and and actually, sort of, sort of, as the hero fan sort of separates, and and most of the most of the guard move out, um, Viol sort of leans over Carvis, and she's like, "Hey, did you uh, yeah. did you did you did you do any of those?" Oh yeah, yeah, I got, I got, I got a bit, I got a couple in, yeah. <laughs> so cute, <laughs> totally. I I hit one. Huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. She hit it. She mm-hmm. looks down at the dog. And she's she's like, "How about you?" And Bane's like, "Boof." And she's like, "Oh wow." Yeah. <laughs> so, the captain. So a couple other guards have come in and started moving stuff around, and the captain's like, "If you'll please come with me outside, so they can get started." Can I take a souvenir? Yeah, you mind if I take a book? For uh, I mean, he tried to kill me. <laughs> I feel it's equal compensation if I just take a book. The yeah. the the captain and and Viola are like, no, you can't have a book. Like, what? Like I, what? Viola is like, what book? I have to go ecology of uh, the storm half. Oh uh, yeah, nation. And, and she's I like, pull it out. I'm like, look, it shows which berries you can eat. <laughs> oh, leaf. She sort, of, she, she sort of looks at you. She's like, you buy me a drink before my date with her? Ooh. I will, and I will go find food for five of the party members because I'm a wanderer, so I can do that. <laughs> look at all these berries we can eat. But one of them we can't. She looks over at the cabin. She's like, I'll carry the book. Or I'll cover the book. And the captain's like, looks over at you. Is this Jin or Rip who's asking for the souvenir? Let me see who's more persuasive. Together, oh, both is equally as persuasive, so they're both asking. <laughs> they both are like, can we have a souvenir? Bro! And then they high five. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and. We need it. We need that cool. We wanted that that really cool rock. And they look over. Uh, the 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 captain's all like, the rock that you were bringing to the vizier. That, you then. Okay. Sure. No, they want the rock that checks Shh. the vision for magic. That rock, and I just walk over and I take the rock that checks for magic. <laughs> Thanks, sir. How it's not just that rock. Walk out. Damn it. <laughs> the rock that checks for magic is back in her office. I thought he had one in his office. I thought they were planning everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, in that case, also no, because they'd be like, no, that's the vizier's detect magic rock. No, you can't have that one. But the vizier's dead. Yeah, the yeah. next vizier is going to need one. He doesn't have his own. Fine, whatever. Yeah, I want one. I forgot my <laughs> magic rock. That thing was dope. I want one of those. <laughs> you, I put the book if, if this If this becomes like sort of a, if this is like kind of pseudo in character, like Vela will be like, guys, guys, you can buy one. It's fine. It's How much are yeah, they? They're, they're expensive. We don't have a lot of money. Like, that's the thing. It's like, you guys think we're rich, but we're literally taking packages. We're five people taking one package how much money do you think we're making on this well we gotta go get paid for this and then we can probably buy one how much you are all getting raises when you get back that's fair when we get back 
I want yeah. a cool rock. Across the continent. I spent all my money on gin. Yeah. Yeah. We did. Spend but when money. I went to go get my girlfriend a gift, I had to make arts and crafts with my hair for her. <laughs> it was very pretty, though. Yeah, but it was hella sweet. Yeah, it was. You had so many That's the... for that. I know, right? All right, so you follow the captain outside without the rock, but with the book. And uh, she's like, she she has she has another guard who has like a, a sheaf and and so, and a and like a piece of coal, and I was like, okay. So, tell me again what happened. Give me your names, and you guys sort of do like a police report situation. And so all of you heard the story that Klesh gave earlier, so you all sort of just corroborate with it. And as far as anyone knows, y'all are just a bunch of random weirdos from Matarik's crew who are delivering this thing. I mean, and that's what we are. Yes. And then the vizier decided to make y'all into a sacrifice, and uh, he wasn't good enough with his crazy closet friends. So nope. uh, you guys were able to uh, expose his evil doings. Can I give my my stepfather's name? Is we all very excited about the last name there? Oh, who? Viola, that was she's like, my stepdad. Uh, Viola, Viola was super stoked about it. Yes. Oh, she's not here. Damn. Yeah, no, she's she's <laughs> she's funny. back in she's back in the room with the other stuff, and yeah, she, Carvis, she gives a little toodaloo as you guys walk out, but you don't know if it was for you or for Bane. So. It's fair. You won't know until much later. Yeah. No. Uh, but yeah, actually, when you give the name Nert, uh. Cat, cat is fading <laughs> through. Uh, getting off the cat tree. It's not very smart. Yay! Uh, Sweet baby. Cats do climb trees and get stuck in them, so it is uh, on brand. Yep, it's a cartoony trope that has been proven over and over again. Oh, he's so little. What's it like to have a cat that actually fits in your arms? <laughs> because the boys are huge. Just so tiny. So tiny, his little feet. But yeah, Hazel, you get like a weird little eyebrow raise when you drop the Nert last name on the captain, and they're like, like the bard? Yeah, that's, that's my, my stepdad. And they're like, huh. I haven't seen him around these parts in a while. All right. No, you know, we had a family and some shit. Yeah, you're real. Uh, can't get real. <laughs> well, you know, if uh, if we end up retaking part of that country, hopefully there's no hard feelings. Maybe you can come tour again. Yeah, you you got me to install me some of his skills, but I'm a I'm a working uh, on my poetry. Ripley is just listening goes land to world. the ocean. <laughs> okay. Rib looks at Jen and just goes, Land War is weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the six foot orc is like, yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it, bro. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, so, let's see here. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, a couple, another, another hour or so since you guys got there. Um, combat and everything, plus the report. And she's like, all right, well... Uh, thanks for killing our vizier, I guess. Uh, I'll, uh... I am always happy to be of service. And she kind of, like, does, like, the head shake, like, okay. <laughs> but it's so true. Yes, yes. They really are. <laughs> yeah. No, they, they are incredibly earnest about it, which is what weirds her out. So, it's like, all right, you're, you're free to go. The hero fan said it was cool, so... Bye. Let's make like, like, a, tree and, let's make like a tree and leaf. Lightning strikes you from... No Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, you're good. Uh, Everybody on the wagon. So, yeah. Um, do you guys head back to the tavern? 
I mean, yeah. Yeah. I would I did. Drink I after did make that. a deal. Just to... Um, Clush is on high alert because they're waiting for Falstaff to pop out of some some stack of pancakes or a That's fair. Paper. I do feel like he is in the tavern. Uh, actually, um, Polly, Hazel, Carvis, and Clash, make me Arcana checks. Oh, well, I don't have any of that. <laughs> yeah, you're not. Five plus you're one, six, four. Oh my God! Jesus, Carvis. <laughs> I guess you are a warlock. That's your. That's your. That's your thing. Carvis is the only one that has anything in Arcana before us. Like I better rely on this one. Clutch so, is dumb stuff. And, so yeah, so Clutch is like that. So Clutch, so I imagine they're like, oh, that fat roly poly furball is gonna be there at the tavern. Yeah, hundred percent. And Polly's like, really? You think so? God, I hope so. <laughs> and Hazel's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm a prince. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do I have to take my phone? Did that fix the war shit? What? I'm not supposed to curse on the stream. Oh, no. You can, <laughs> you can give my girlfriend's land back. <laughs> <laughs> you Leaf just says you can't ignore what grows inside you. <laughs> oh, very nice. <laughs> just kind of like... I spent a long time thinking for that. When I was staring, I just... <laughs> I almost said it in front of the guy, but I was like, I. It's not so I was gonna say like I was gonna say you can't like can't ignore girls inside, and I was like, if you want it, you can have it. But then he did say it was yours, so I was like, I'm glad I didn't say that. Look at my eyes, yeah. He he looks at Leaf and his eyes are they're watery. Oh, watery. Wait, what did he get now? So Carvis, with the twenty three, uh, you you're like, wait, no, we're good. We made the deal. The deal is complete. The the you 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 understand on a cosmic level that all of you who were part of that deal, it has been completed. There's no reason for uh, Falstaff to be there unless he has something. Like he might be there. He could be back in anyway. Gravisport. He can be hanging out with one of your moms. Well, maybe not all of your moms, but you know. <laughs> I'd be. I'd question if he was with mine. Yeah. But also, wouldn't be surprised. I don't know if I have a mom. Right. So okay. Some. Everyone's but, got a mom. But yeah, there, there's, there's no. You, you are no longer beholden to him, on any, co on any sort of level. Other than um, how adorable he is, Polly. I, I just look at, uh, Clash. I look at Clash and I go, Clash. Wait a second. I go. Yeah, no, we're good. He spent all that time hounding us. Did you deliver it? Did you deliver it? Did you deliver it? Did you deliver it? And he's not going to come back and be like, is it done? Also, yeah, why I'm... did he send us to get killed? He was very pleasant. I mean, you have a point, but karmically, cosmically, metaphorically, metaphysically, the deal is done. We are not beholden. So if he were to appear, he has no power. The, the, Wonderful. The, Polly, to the Polly, look at me in my eyes. And then Clush gets, like, way down <laughs> to Polly's level. It's not so. <laughs> we cannot play with Mr. Falstaff anymore. Why? <laughs> because when we play with Mr. Falstaff... Some of us almost die. And we don't want that, do we? Who's hurt still? Um as well. How <laughs> Me much a little bit. How much are you hurt for? Um, I mean, I feel like we're probably not gonna get into any combat. Yeah. Yeah, but I have spells to use. You can I'm also not, you can also to... consider the interview of short rest if you want to burn some hit hit die. That's fair. I don't yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. I'm down thirteen. You are. Uh, as Leaf said, you can't ignore what grows inside you. You get 12. Thank you. Hey, Polly. Um, hey, Polly. Yeah. 
you uh, you reach into one of your pouches and you feel a little piece of paper touch your hand. And you oh pull God, out no. the little business card that says Falstaff on it. Does it have a number at the end? Nope. Now yeah. I seven, five, three, oh, it just nine, says nine. the only thing on this beautiful it <laughs> it's fucking Can we I mean, take it by the rock. Whatever that whatever that uh, whatever that movie is where it's like Let's take a look at his business card. It's it's like oh, that. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is that American the Psycho? Wall Wall Street? Street? Wolf, Wolf of Wall oh, Street. Oh, American Psycho. Or one of the two. I... American Psycho is the one where they really fix it and they're like, he got the It is American thing. Psycho. Thank you. Yeah. I have That's not really. seen both of them, but I associate them in the same. Um, anyway. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you, you you sort of pull it out and yeah, it's it's nice eggshell. It's got the little crimping and it just says. <laughs> Do I see stuff. them? No. I mean, I'm I'm sitting like eye to eye with Polly. Do I hear pull this out of her pocket? Like you've seen fucking little children listen to you dead dead fucking stare in your eyes and then just not pay attention and do shit out of their pockets and like <laughs> like I feel like that's what happened. That's basically Polly. <laughs> okay, Paul, but Polly, I need you to understand this. I know <laughs> that Mr. Falstaff looked. <laughs> So nice and so fluffy and so friendly, mm-hmm. but I don't think he has our best intentions, and he's a little scary under under all that fluffy fat. <laughs> Polly, he's covered in syrup. Just sure. don't make a deal with him. <laughs> is the, the only thing. Why? Just no deals. Because the deal, the deal, he always makes a deal. The has uh, requirements that aren't initially like thought about, or you know, so just no deals with him. We can. He's got my brother in a box. Yeah, yeah, that's brother in a box. He's not in a box. He's got him there. He was gonna give him to a guy that tried to kill us. Could you imagine? What What if they? What if he put Jin's soul in one of those scary monsters? So Clush gonna hold out their pinky and say, "Pinky promised me oh. that we won't make any more deals with Mr. Falstaff." Oh no, not the pinky oh, promise. And crossies don't count. <laughs> wow. Yay. Shakes little pinkies. Okay, you were very good and brave today, Polly, and I thank you so much for all of your help. First as, rounds on leaf. As your as your fists shake, pinky's locked. In your other hand, you feel that business card start to wither away like uh, like plastic <laughs> left in the sun, like plastic bags left in the sun too long. It just sort of shakes and withers and and uh, flies off into the it's into the dust. Dust the wind. Single, single here. <laughs> Leaf, Leaf thinks of false staff and checks his pocket. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I do <laughs> owe that lady a drink, though. So I will buy the first round of drinks. How many? How much does that run me? Um, Tony, is this the same tavern where I'm meeting Viola, or is this a different tavern? I forgot that part. I have a. Um, I have a I have a tavern named the Stag and Pine. Mhm. I don't remember if that's where you're staying. I assume we were all just gonna stand around this really weird watch you. I don't. That doesn't yeah, sound familiar. Like, I don't think that's where really cool. If we have fun at all, you know what bad. we'll do? I have a plan, you guys. So, <laughs> Carvis and Viola are in a booth. Some of us are in a booth on the other side. Some of us are in a booth on this side. That way, some of us can signal to Carvis. Some of us can whisper to Carvis. <laughs> like, Carvis, I, the thing is important. Please pay attention to it. But maybe I should do some feeling out about like how how the people might feel if a change in leadership might occur. How good that might go, but very casually, just like just sneak it in. Like, it feels right. It just keeps throwing it. Like a, you know, your 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 
eyes are very beautiful today. How would the people feel about a revolution? <laughs> <laughs> are you I happy am. with who's in power right now? I'm wearing a shirt that says Tools for Revolution. <laughs> Maybe don't um, ask someone who like works in the White House. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when Clush realizes that Carvis is there for a date, Clush and Deline are gonna go on their own date. No. Clush, Clush has nothing to whisper to Carvis. <laughs> I'm gonna go try to find. You're the ladies' man. You're no the one that. The I was gonna say I feel like Clush would try to might like this time try to give Carvis advice. <laughs> like how, like how, like how, and then she would be like, "So you want to get your pens and your pencils out, and then you want to tell them what beautiful things." Like, I feel like this would be Clash giving Garvin's advice. For the what day. you want to do is just tell them, tell her she's really beautiful, and then draw this gorgeous likeness of her on parchment, and then give it to her as a present, and that will really win her heart immediately. Okay, I can't draw. <laughs> you guys can't draw. Can't draw. Clash, just draw her real fast for Carvis so he can well, get Well, if you would let her. us look at your drawings more, we would all be better at it. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, so, so, it's it's Clash, you know it. If Clash draws me, uh, like, from memory, a, a like, portrait of Viola that Carvis will 100% be like, I, I have this made for you. Yes. <laughs> no, Carvis should be like, can you make two of these? <laughs> one for me and one for her. <laughs> I think, um, I think Delene is ready to go. I'll make one later. Okay. For you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Good luck. Don't okay. don't be pushy and say smile and say nice things. Bye. She smiles and like all you see are just like the fangs, <laughs> <laughs> the tiefling fangs, just be like. Rrr. And there's like a sprig of parsley. <laughs> So this, I just up the parsley. She's only been drinking beer. This, this strange Cyrano de Bergerac uh, scenario is set up, and the hour ticks around when Viola should arrive. And I think there is an excellent cliffhanger <laughs> for this session of Front Chill, the Dysoning, Atarix Crew. Uh, and although we didn't do it at the top, we will definitely do it now. I would love to thank these lovely individuals for playing pretend with me on a fairly regular basis for this long. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you to you for coming by, listening, watching, hanging out, uh, sharing our pretend time stories, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Do all the things. Like in the thing and the follow and the hit us up on social. No one ever adds us on social. Add us on social. Like, you know? So do that, please, please, please. Also, thank you, Yev Yev, Nomad, Doomsayer, and Backblaze for making this all happen and keeping this going. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, stay tuned for when we're going to when I'm going to torment these lovely individuals again next time. And uh, the next chapter of Atarix Crew uh, will begin the hunting and assassination of Lancel Launcelot Snaptendon. Bah, bah, bah. Captain Dickhead. Captain Dickhead. Yeah, <laughs> subtitle. Captain Dickhead. All right. Uh, it's a stage name. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank right. you to Tony. Clash, right. you're just happy to be here. Clash is always just happy to be here. All right. Good night, y'all. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'll do my gift. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.